Rico friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I got my hands on the highly anticipated Pattern Beauty hair product. Now if you've been sleeping under a rock, let me catch you up. Pattern Beauty is a new natural hair product line that is made by the one and only Tracy Ellis Ross. If you don't know who Tracy is, once again, you should, but you might know her from Blackish or Mixedish. She's also the legendary Diana Ross's daughter. You know, talk about somebody with iconic, big, curly hair. It's Diana Ross. So I love that, like, even from her mom's essence of excellence and natural hair. It has been passed down to her very talented daughter and she has created her very own line. So when I heard that the Tracy Ellis Ross was creating her own natural hair product line, I was already excited because I love Tracy. I think she's just naturally hilarious. She's just such a genuine, real person that does not care about what anyone thinks. She's gonna say what she wants to say. No filter, unapologetically her. And I love that. So that was the main reason I wanted to try these products, but I also love the messaging behind the line. Pattern Beauty was created because Tracy saw a need that just wasn't exactly being met in the natural hair community, which was, you know, we don't ever use a dime size conditioner. Like, no, it's just not a thing. So she really wanted to create products that were larger and that were made for curly and textured hair. Now, before we get started, no, this video is not sponsored. I bought these products with my very own money. But sponsored or not, you guys know I'm always gonna give you guys an honest review. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to do this review like Tracy, meaning I gotta keep it real with y'all. I could sit here and just make a beautiful, perfect, these are the best products in the world, Tracy, please be my best friend video, but I really care about the ingredients and in products and I care about your curls and some of you guys have worked way too hard to be putting certain things in your hair that aren't going to be helpful. So I'm gonna have to break all that down today. Does that mean I'm possibly ruining my chances of ever getting a walk-on roll onto mixed dish or washing my cashmere sweaters or playing Uno with Tracy? <laughs> yes. Yes it is. But I'm gonna do it because y'all need to know the truth. So let's get into it. So let's rewind back to launch day, the day Pattern Beauty finally put up all their products on the website for us to kind of check out. You will see that Tracy Ellis Ross has created three different conditioners, one shampoo, a leave-in conditioner, two oils, a microfiber towel, a brush, and a $10 clip. Their three conditioners include a medium conditioner for curlies, then there's a heavy conditioner for coils, then there's a intensive conditioner for tight textures. Now my loyal subscribers and curl friends, y'all already know the first thing to do when looking at any new hair product, which is to turn that bottle over and read the labels to see which ingredients are inside. So according to the Pattern Beauty website and also on the back of their products, they claim to be paraben free, free of SLS and SLES, color safe, free of cyclic silicones, phthalate-free and formaldehyde-free. So as a normal consumer, you might read that and be like, cool, that all sounds great. But what does it really mean? So SLS and SLES are types of sulfate. It stands for sodium lauryl sulfate or SLES with its sodium laureth sulfate. These are two really harsh sulfates you should really try to avoid in your hair products because it could dry out your curls, especially if you have color treated hair, so it's gonna suck all that color right out. So it would have been nicer if they just would have put sulfate free because that's just a more common term that we all would just understand. And when a brand only mentions like, oh, we're free of these two, it makes me kind of nervous. Like, well, what about the other sulfates? Are you saying you don't have very harsh sulfates, but you have mild sulfates? Like, that already made me nervous. The second red flag was cyclic silicone. What's a cyclic silicone? Let me answer this question for you. What are cyclic silicones? Let's see. <clears throat> a cyclic silicone refers to a structure of a compound that possesses a cyclical structure rather than the chain structures of dimethyl silicones. What does all this mean? 
It's a bunch of scientific -y words that don't, don't tell me anything. So I think what they're trying to brag about is that they don't have any bad silicones or silicones that are going to create a lot of product buildup. But here's the deal. I don't want any silicone in my product, whether it's good, bad, better, water soluble. There just really isn't a need for silicone. And I know that because I literally have a collection of over 300 curly hair products that don't have any silicone. And I think it's safe to say that my curls are doing just fine without it. So when I saw that the conditioner had silicone, I was very, very disappointed. So then I said, okay, let me, let me check the shampoo. Cause usually I could at least try a brand shampoo because a lot of brands are catching on to the sulfate free thing. So that should work. Go to the website and there's silicone in the shampoo. Why? 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 So there's amlodimethicone in the shampoo. Granted, it is towards the very bottom. So that could mean that there's a very small amount, you know, it's at the end of the ingredient list, but there is silicone in the medium and the heavy conditioner. But, 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 surprisingly, the intensive conditioner for tight textures is silicone free. something that I can buy. I'm out here trying to give you my money. It's not in here. I have read this label like 12 times trying to make sure that I didn't miss anything. The first ingredient is water, which is always what you want to see in your hair products. The second one is an alcohol, but it's a good alcohol. Don't worry. Then there's like oils and shea butter. There is beeswax and sunflower seed wax so if you guys don't want to use waxes or you experience buildup from waxes that is against one of the cg rules so it's definitely not cg friendly if you're that strict on it there's also flower wax so i mean there is three types of waxes in here and then towards the bottom of the ingredient list there is isopropyl alcohol which is considered one of the more drying alcohols so I like to avoid products that are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Those are my three no-nos. If you are a more extreme CG person, you're probably also avoiding waxes and you're also avoiding drying alcohols, which it does have those too. But there is no amlodimethicone in this one. I don't know why, but I'm happy that it's not. And it kind of just proves a point that you don't need it. So this product is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Now let's talk about it. Now this size right here is actually the medium size. There's a three ounce bottle. This is their 13 fluid ounce bottle. Then there's one even bigger that is 29 fluid ounces. So if you want to just try it, you can get a three ounce bottle for $9, which is kind of a lot for just a three ounce bottle. But for the 13 fluid ounce one that I got, this was $25. And if you get the big one, that comes in like a big pump jar. This one is $42. So it's definitely not your average drugstore pricing. So I need you to be real good is all I'm trying to say. So the only items that I personally was interested in is the Pattern Beauty Intensive Conditioner for tight textures. And I also got the Pattern Beauty brush. Many of you know that I prefer to just finger detangle with my fingers. I think it's a very easy way to do it, but I wanted to try it out because why not? So without further ado, let's get in the shower so I can show you exactly how these products work. Starting out, this conditioner is very, very thick and it has a very nice smell. I would say it's a floral scent. It smells like a bouquet of flowers. The intensive conditioner is supposed to be their richest formula for heavy porous hair, which means high porosity. I actually have low porosity hair, so we'll see how this goes. Denser textures looking to replenish moisture, nourish hair, and restore curl patterns. It's infused with a buttery blend of shea butter, avocado oil, and vitamin E, and it's supposed to leave your hair and scalp ultra conditioned to combat breakage and dryness. 
Now, although I think the slip is good enough for me just to finger to tangle, let's give this Pattern Beauty brush a try. So the bristles are very hard. There's nine rows to this brush. It's kind of similar to the Denman brush just from the look of it, but let's see if it's better at detangling. So starting at the ends, getting rid of any knots and tangles. All right, not too bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's getting the job done. I wouldn't say it's detangling any more special than any other brush I have. The shower brush is $17 and it's recommended for all curl types. So I'm gonna keep detangling and once you get through all of it, you will see that it does do a nice job at evenly distributing all the conditioner through every hair strand so every strand gets some love in. And if you go down slowly, you also can see that it will help create some curl definition. So now let's go ahead and do the other side, doing another generous squeeze of conditioner. Still very thick and creamy, but you wanna start from the bottom and then smooth it all the way up. According to the Pattern Beauty website, these three different conditioners are actually used for different curl types. So I should have used the medium one, which is for 3B and 3C type curls. The next one is their heavy for type 4A curls, and then there's the intensive one that I'm actually using right now, which is really made for types 4B and 4C. But as long as it's, you know, getting through my tangles, giving me some moisture, that's all that matters. So here's the shedding after doing both sides of my hair. Not too bad, looking normal. So the brush worked out just fine. My hair is now completely tangled free. It feels extremely moisturized. This is a heavier cream that can double as a deep conditioner. So I'm actually going to let it sit for a while while I do the rest of my showerly activities. You could leave it up for 20 minutes under a shower cap if you have the time. But today, I'm just going to leave it in for a little bit, see how my curls look, and then rinse it out with cool water. Even after rinsing out all the conditioner, my curls still feel moisturized. They look very defined and shiny, and overall, I'm happy. And voila! This is me actually day two after washing my hair yesterday with the intensive conditioner. But I can't really give like a full brand review because one we don't have a styler a leave-in conditioner is not a styler a leave-in is used for moisture so tracy darling we really need a styling cream or a gel but i understand this is the first launch this is not going to be the end of your product this is just a little Step one that we all appreciate. So Pattern Beauty, if you're watching, I am more than willing to come into the office, have a little chat with you so we could discuss the best ingredients to move forward with for the next launch, for your stylers, for maybe a revamp of the conditioners. I just want you guys to succeed because, I mean, I love Tracy. And she put her heart and soul into this and I want this line to succeed. And I know it will regardless but for those of us that are really trying to avoid certain ingredients like I could show you my DMs it's all my subscribers are just anxious to give you their money but I gotta be able to give them the green light on more than one product so call me if you guys want more honest reviews on curly hair products lucky for you I post two videos every week I have an entire curly hair playlist you guys could just binge watch instead of Netflix highly recommend so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video you also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee so you're always the first to know what products I'll be trying out next I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Bianca Renee today